Hi there, I'm Morgan Lane. I'm a mama to three little girls, a wife to an incredible husband, and the author and illustrator of A Little Prayer Devo. I'm an artist and a happy homemaker, and most of all, a lover of Jesus. In today's video, you'll find me cleaning countertops, prepping cold brew, scrubbing dishes, arranging flowers, and sharing some wisdom from a book that I just finished reading last night while I paint in my Bible. Time and time again, I pop in my ear pods. I play homemaking, cleaning, wifing videos on here, and I feel encouraged and inspired. It has an incredible psychological effect for me to watch someone else working hard to serve and strive and be their best in their own home. It boosts me to clean along with them. Many are just cleaning hacks or how-to videos, but I wanted to make something with practical and spiritual encouragement. I've learned lots of tricks from cleaning my sink to removing stains from something just by watching, but I'd always wish those videos would preach to me the truth of the gospel while I'm cleaning. The idea to start making these little videos came from a poem I wrote a while back. Much of my time spent as a homemaker seems to be making order out of chaos to create a haven for my family. I'm very sparked by the idea of making each day lovely, beautiful, fun, and meaningful. Because why do it grumpy when you can do it with joy? The poem went like this. Chores. I'm not sure why I filmed little clips of chores this morning, other than to give you permission to be adorning. It's really okay to dress nice and find delight, joy, and even fun. Homemaker wife, mom, sometimes seem to have an audience of none. But as I scrub conditioner off the walls, and I pick up dirty socks from the halls, my heart feels peace and love. This is the task I've been called to from above. My intent is not to make one compare or feel flustered, but to inspire and encourage to do all things with any energy mustered. So, Mama, imagine how you want to carry yourself and just do it. I wear my cute apron and I put in the grit. Speak it and make it happen. Take action. You can be the one to cultivate delight in everyday moments. Don't complain or compare to others. They're not your components. Shine in all you do. The Lord is watching you through. A fun family member gifted me this coffee maker. It really is so good. The cold drip makes it smooth and not acidic at all. I made some up this morning because my sleepy firefighter was coming off of shift and he had some meetings. We had to meet at the auto shop for my car to get repaired. My way of service for him today was brewing this cup. And sure enough, his text chimed as I walked out the door to meet him. Will you bring me a coffee? With it already made in hand, I smile. Being an intentional in marriage and doing things like this ahead of time can make all the difference. So often it's just the little things. Writing a note on the desk. Washing a uniform so it's ready when it's needed. Giving a hug or a smile. Giving service to them ahead of time before it's even asked. After the coffee, I move on to the sink. I tidy all the mess from the morning, getting kids out the door for school, leftover lunch boxes from the day before, food and groceries that were just picked up at the store. Something else was picked up too. The toddler loves to look at all the bunches of flowers. We snagged a bunch of yellow roses and coral carnations. The incentive to getting all the tasks done, then you're able to arrange and make a beautiful bouquet to place on the counter once the surface is clean. 
When clearing the counter, I came across my daughter's valentine. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, and she painted this for me. Red and pink with her four-year-old little fingers. There really are so many micro-tasks that a wife can do throughout a day. The items she touches and puts away. Refilling the dish pods with tender care to be placed up high so little hands can't reach them there. The other day, our oldest walked in from school. She said, whoa. I looked at her confused. She said, did you do anything at all today? After being out and about and running errands, we hadn't gotten to our normal chores. I laughed so hard because we didn't get anything done and she had noticed the difference. These tasks that seem like they don't make a difference make a huge difference when they're all added up. All those little efforts and little tasks, they are very seen when they're all left undone and it is noticed. She then wrote me a thank you card the next day, thanking me for everything that I do and telling me that God loves me, so she does notice. Filling the soap makes me think of all those million micro tasks that they can do in a day. Someone may question, well, what do you really do? But there are so many things, like refilling the soap to filing the paperwork that take place. No one may even notice until they're not done. Thank heaven for dirty dishes, they have a tale to tell. While other folks go with less, we're eating very well. With love and health and happiness, we shouldn't want to fuss. By the stack of evidence, God's been very good to us. Talk a little bit about it in my firefighter prayer devo, but scrubbing the dishes and doing the laundry are two of my places of prayer. Places where I always remember to seek the Lord for my family, my friends, and multiple things that are going on. Doing the dishes and laundry don't take much thought by things you have to do daily. But it's the perfect opportunity to be quiet and to talk to him about all the things that we have going on. I always laughed in my book. Some people had really funny places of prayer. But what a better place than the kitchen sink to clean our hearts and to clean our minds and to come to God. Yay, the time has come. The scrubbing for me is done. Keep scrubbing if you're not finished. I always walk into the grocery store at the front and I grab a small few dollar bunch. It's that mental reward of getting everything cleaned, the privilege that I gift myself to arrange them beautifully. For a four year old to be able to pick out the colors and which ones mommy needs to have on the table. She always picks pink, but today I persuaded her to go with coral. Keep from getting caught up in the rut of the same things over and over, the mundane tasks of motherhood. I try to find something that brings me joy and delight. Sitting in the sunshine, reading a book, having a cup of tea, doing something with one of my pets, going for a walk with my daughter. Finding the delight in the little things can make all the mundane things not so bad. When the task is done, you can step back. There's nothing better than a before and after photo. If you ever need motivation, send your picture to someone before, and then send your picture to someone after the task is complete. One of these painting. Next, I'm gonna jump into my Bible. 
Last night, I finished reading a book by Karen Kingsbury called When We Were Young. It's probably my sixth book in a row by her. My, I do not like to watch TV or movies, but I will read lots and lots of non-fiction books, as well as a few fiction. Anyways, at the end of this book last night, the mom's name, the patriarch of the family, is Elizabeth Baxter, and the book was a lot about marriage. So it had these words of wisdom from this mother who had passed for all of her kids. And it was just her secrets to a happy marriage. And I thought it was neat at the end of the book, Karen had listed the 10 secrets to a happy marriage. So here I just journaled in the first one. It said to keep God first. It says, by loving God more than your spouse, you'll always be humble enough to love your spouse more than humbly, more than humanly possible. This makes for a beautiful marriage. And the verse was Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Lord, I pray today that these wives, moms, and women who have listened and watched and cleaned and painted alongside of me, that they would just seek you first, that their hearts would be turned towards you and all you have in store for them, that they can let go of any expectations that are not of you, and that they can fall in your lap and understand that you love them so much. Thanks for joining me today as we scrubbed our dishes together and looked at how we could keep God first. Bye, friends. See you next time.